University of Cambridge International Examinations, IGCSE Mathematics. This is a problem from the extended course. We're asked to describe fully the transformation that takes shape A onto shape A dash. First of all, let's look at the distance from P there to Q there. It's a distance of two units. And also the distance P dash to Q dash. So P dash to Q dash is minus one unit. Okay. This is going to determine what the stretch factor is. Um, it's clearly a reflection followed by a stretch. So therefore it's going to be a negative stretch factor. But P dash to Q dash is exactly half the distance as P to Q. So bearing in mind we've got a negative movement here, we have a stretch factor of negative one half. The distance PQ is twice as big as Q dash P dash, therefore Q dash P dash is half as big as PQ. So it's a stretch factor of minus a half. Okay, where will the invariant line be found? The invariant line will be found somewhere between P and P dash. It will equally be found somewhere between Q and Q dash and also somewhere between R and R dash. It doesn't matter which, which uh, letters we choose, we will get the same invariant line, but we're going to use P and P dash. So let's just make a note somewhere between P and P dash. That's okay at this stage. Uh, now, what's the distance from P to P dash? So P all the way over to P dash is a distance of six units. What's the ratio of the distances from the invariant line? Okay, now we're going to use a ratio because there's a line the invariant line that is, that is going to be placed which is exactly in the ratio of the stretch factor. So what is the ratio of the distance from the invariant line? Well it's going to be a ratio of 1 which is related to the first shape A and a half which is related to the second shape A dash. Remember A dash is exactly half the area of A. So if if we say A is 1 we can say that A dash is going to be a half. So the ratio is 1 to a half. That's a little bit clumsy and we can easily make this better to work with by multiplying through by a scale factor of 2. So that gives us a same ratio 2 to 1. 2 times 1 is 2 2 times a half is 1. Okay, so now we can say the ratio of the distances from the invariant line is 2 to 1. So what do we do next? Well, we know that the distance from P to P dash is 6 units. So we can just put that in the ratio. Uh, two to one which works out as four units to two units. We can just take this line over here. So um, from P to P dash is in the ratio of four to two. So one, two, three, four. That looks like it should be our line of, our invariant line, I should say. But let's just... Um, Let's just make sure that it is. should be in the ratio of 4 to 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. Good. Um, remember, 4 to 2 ratio is the same as a 2 to 1 ratio. So let's have a look at Q to Q dash. 1, 2, 1. That's in the 2 to 1 ratio as well. And R to R dash. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 4 to 2 is the same as 2 to 1. So all the ratios 
of Q to Q dash, P to P dash, R to R dash, are all in the ratio of 2 to 1. And so the invariant line is this line here, and all we have to do now is simply uh, write down the, the invariant line, which is invariant line. is going to be x equals 4. So there we have it. The invariant line is x equals 4 and the stretch factor is minus a half.